Hi, I'm Luby McNamara and I'd like to share with you today about Cultural Emergence. So Cultural Emergence is my new book um, uh, and it's a whole toolkit for transforming ourselves and the world. And we all are aware of how much challenges we're facing at the moment from so many different directions. And the Cultural Emergence Toolkit provides us with a set of practices and principles that help us reconfigure our culture and when I say our culture I mean on many different scales from our own personal culture to our families, our groups, our neighbourhoods and going out globally so it really has the ability to um, give us new ways of shifting our thinking and behaving in the world. And I see culture as this complex web of thinking and behaving and feeling and interacting in the world and with the emergence so we have culture and then we have this term emergence that comes from systems thinking and with emergence we have new possibilities that come out so we've got these apples here and these apples have come from a seed or grafted seedling and it leads to something unexpected when we have the pollinators in from the flowers and then we get apples. So if we didn't know that that was possible, if we came here from another planet, we'd be amazed at what happens here. And this is the kind of radical possibilities that we can have with cultural emergence. So when we plant an apple tree, we kind of know that we will get apples, but when we do a cultural emergence design or we start bringing these tools into our lives into people systems we have the possibilities of really radical revolution here and that's what we're aiming for on this planet it's this um, and what's needed with humanity at the moment is this radical revolution into regenerative cultures to emerge regenerative cultures and we can all be part of that solution and that's what cultural emergence is about to give us tools that really enhance our own well-being and that that can ripple out and enhance the well-being of all of humanity and the planet. We tend to think of culture as something really big and outside of us and maybe immovable. But actually, if we think of culture as this complex web of seen and unseen patterns of thinking and behaving and interacting and feeling, then each of us has our own unique complex web of patterns. And this complex web of patterns is unique to us and we can change that complex web of patterns. And some of them are seen, so we might see these, like we see the apples and we see the branches on the tree. But then there's also all these roots underneath the ground and those are beliefs and our parameters and our assumptions and our values that are actually dictating how the tree grows. So when we come to understand that we have our own personal culture then we can also embrace the principle of cultural emergence of tend to our own personal culture and we can do this we can imagine it to be a garden we can look at what we need to prune what we need to feed our own personal culture and we can nourish it and we can question and examine it so we can take responsibility for ourselves and that is really empowering to us. So this is a really simple tool that has many layers to, of understanding and complexity that really allows us to grow and be proactive in our own lives. And this is what cultural emergence is about, is about being responsible, being proactive, empowering ourselves, nourishing ourselves, challenging and awakening ourselves so that we can create change. And just like we would create change in this one apple tree, this apple tree is part of an orchard, it's part of a farm, it's part of a bigger, much bigger systems. And just like that, our culture, our own personal culture, 
it's part of our family culture, part of our workplace culture, part of our neighbourhoods, part of the whole country. So when we make changes to our own personal culture, though those changes ripple out and have many effects of which we don't know. And that's really empowering and inspiring and liberating for us. So examine your culture, look at it, ask questions about it, find out where these patterns came from and make conscious decisions about what patterns you want to disrupt and what patterns are really helpful and serving you.